الحمد للہ رب العالمین و صلی اللہ وسلم علی نبی محمد و علی آلہ و صحبہ و سلم اما بعد Why is it important to have knowledge? Ilm Fiddin helps to protect you from doubtfulness, from shubahat. Because as we live in such a strange time, full of so much shubahat, so many people who consider themselves and other people consider them to be people of knowledge when in fact a lot of people are on misguidance, balal, and they call people to bid'ah, kufr, and shirk often. Wa'iyadim billah min dalika, may Allah protect us from it, ameen. So, ilm, knowledge gives you the tools to be able to discern between ahl bid'ah wa ahl sunnah. Those people who call the sunnah the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and those people who call to other than that of misguidance. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said Men Yuridullahu bihi khayran Yithaqahu fiddin That whenever Allah Tabarak Wa Ta'ala wants good for a slave he gives him knowledge of the deen, knowledge of Islam. And as we mentioned, that fiqh, that ability to discern between haq wa batil and how evidence, what is evidence in the sharia? What is, how to use the evidence? All of that is from fiqh fiddin. So it isn't simply enough when you hear somebody they've memorized a lot, they quote a lot. They could be giving you anything if you don't have the tools to discern between truth and right. You might hear from a takfiri, person who decrees other Muslims to be disbelievers for the major sins. You might hear them give you all kind of ayat and ahadith of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to substantiate their creed of batil. But what you won't hear them say is you won't hear them give the details from the Salaf of this Ummah. Nor will you hear them mention those ahadith that mentions their group and their sect, which is the Khawarij. You won't hear them mentioning that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said Al Khawarij Kilab al Nar, that the Khawarij are the dogs of the hellfire, and you won't hear them mentioning those other Nasuls, Saheha, that mention the extremeness and the ignorance, and that they will leave the religion as the arrow passes through its prey. But they can deceive you if you don't have the tools. And likewise, with Ahl Tasawwuf, the people of Sufiya, you'll hear some of them mentioning about the Arabic language, going into depth. They'll take one term and they'll break it down in how many ways? They'll give you the specific meaning, the shari meaning, and they'll give you the linguistic meaning. And they'll show you the ambigu ambig ambiguity of the term. They'll give you all of that and they'll take you on a roller coaster ride of linguistics, phonology, philosophy, and all the other sciences. And at the end of the day, you'll say, wow, what a great lecture. Wow, so-and-so knows the Arabic language so fantastic. Wow, so-and-so is, is this and that. But when it comes to your Islamic knowledge, what you benefited from them and where they took you. And at the end, you find yourself celebrating the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam's birthday 
which he didn't do, his Sahaba didn't do, the Tabi'een didn't do, the Itba'a Tabi'een didn't do. And you'll find yourself mixing between men and women at big parties celebrating those events. Celebrating when the Prophet ﷺ ascended to the heavens. All kind of un-Islamic practices due to the smoke cloud and the appearance of knowing the Arabic language. Again, fiqh fi deen. That's what's going to distinguish that from you. Distinguish the truth for the, from falsehood. And like with, with all the other groups, you'll have some people from Akhwan and Muslimin that have memorized a lot. And they'll give you a lot on the source as well. But at the end of the day, they want you to protest. They want you to riot. They want you to protest for this cause and that cause. Syria is this. Iraq is this. Afghanistan happened. This happened. Libya, this happened. And we feel the pain of all those situations. But we want to take the Sabila Mu'mineen, the Sabila Sunnah, the way of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, not the way of the Democrats, not the way of the Libertarians, not the way of those people who don't call the Kitab wa Sunnah. So in the end, as Sheikh Muhammad said, Rahimahullah Ta'ala, I'lam Rahimakullah, Ennahu yajibu alayna ta'allam arba masail al ula al ilm. He said it's an obligation upon us to know four things. The first thing is knowledge. And he said, Al ula al ilm, wa huwa ma'rafat Allah, ma'rafat al Nabi, wa ma'rafat al Deen al Islam bi adillah. He said, It's knowing Allah. It's knowing his prophet and knowing the religion of Islam with its textual proofs. That's what we need to know. And the more that you have your usul down, your foundation, the more that you study, the more the coverings will come off your eyes for you, so that you're not deluded by those other paths. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala Muhammad.